Hi, I'm Max, and today I'm gonna show you how to build a medieval tavern. Now, before we start, be sure to like and subscribe, and you can follow me on Patreon to support the channel and get access to the world download for all my builds. Link will be in the description. Now let's build. We'll start by placing down the column layout. And I'll have it be two blocks apart. If on the right, I'll have it be three blocks apart from the rest. Raise them up to four blocks. And connect them on the top. Now on this side, I'm gonna make a fireplace. I'm just gonna roughly make a shape for it, with the bricks for now. We'll close the gap here with stripped spruce. Where the rest of the wall will be a cobblestone. And I'll leave these two here for the entrance. And we're gonna have three entrances for the tavern. Next, we'll lay down the floor for the second floor. We'll have a truss. And the spruce slab for the floorboard. Raise all the column up for four more blocks. Another column right here. Let me adjust the shimmy shape for a bit. Now we connect the column on the top as well. Now the wall for the second floor will mostly use a sandstone. These two will be a door cutout, and the rest will be four windows. And next, I will make the frame for the balcony. Have it be two blocks away from the building. Make this the same height. And do the same in the back. We'll make a truss here so then we can place the attic floor. Now let's make the roof frame. The shape for this one will be a slightly curved A shape. And it will be the same face on all three sides. And closing off the roof with the deep slate tiles. Finishing the wall below the roof. Let's place down some light in here first before I close it off.
Right, now we're gonna do the staircase up to the second floor. We use the same strip spruce for the frame. Place the floor for the balcony first. And place a stair. And the stair should end exactly at the frame. Perfect. Now the other side. Now let's refine the shape for the roof by placing an upside down stairs below the overhang. And replace the top planks with the stairs. I have the stair pointing out on the top bit. And continue it to the rest of the roof. Let's replace all the top blocks here with the spruce logs. Looks more medieval like this. And the same goes for the deep slate, by replacing all the top planks with the stairs. And right here I'm gonna make a simple dormer. Place the log down and make it a dome shape with a stair. Change this back to full blocks. Alright, now we can add in details to the house. We'll add a texture to the stone with a mossy cobblestone and a smooth stones. And we'll add a bit of normal sand and a smooth sandstone. And for the roof we'll just keep switching between deep slate variations. We're going to replace all the spruce on this block level with the barrels. Add a bit of arch shape to the balcony using an upside down stairs. Use a lectern for the railing. And the spruce trap doors on the top. We're also going to place them below the barrels. Adding a bit of buttons. And maybe a bit more trap doors as a window shutter. and one planter above the balcony. I'll cover it with an oak trapdoor for this one. Right, now we can decorate the same on the back side. I'll make a shade in front of the tavern entrance, and I'll be using a mangrove and a quartz slabs. Making it uneven so it doesn't look too stiff. Support it with a mud wall and fence. And we're gonna make that on all three sides.
On this side here would be a little bit different. But mostly it would still be the same. And this time we have a small shade for the window, using a campfire. I will also build a larger shade on the fireplace side. Looks lovely. Adding a bit of foliage in the roof corners. Almost forgot a fireplace. We can change it up a bit with some granites. And randomly switch between full blocks and the stairs. In the chimney top we use a campfire for the smoke effect and surround it with trapdoors. We add some lighting on the outside and maybe some hanging signs. Alright, we're ready for the interior. Place down the glass pane for the windows first. And away to the attic. Right, we we'll start furnishing from downstairs and work our way up to the top. Adding a bit of cold texture in the fireplace. I should be placing a brick with the more granites. Then add a wall shelf above. Some decorations on the shelf. This side here will be the tables. I'll be using a campfire for the seats. And a sign as a backrest. And the wall on the side will be a decorative cabinet. Flowers in the pot. And books on the shelves. Maybe you can add an arch shape on all the entrance as well. In 
this corner here would be the bar. So we'll place down the kitchen and the bar counter. And a wall cabinet. And a bit more decorations. We could also put some sort of hunting trophy on the wall. Right, that is everything on the inside. Might as well put some more tables on the outside. Banners on the wall, some water and hay bales for the horse. And maybe some firewood supplies. Let's do that on the rest. Right, a banner right here and we're done. Now onto the second floor. I'm gonna divide it into two rooms. So let's put up a wall. So downstairs the tavern, and upstairs I'm gonna make it like an owner's house. And this will be the main room. I'll make it a waiting table right here. Light up the room with a set of candles just enough. And on the side will be the kitchen, and some cabinets. Connect up the chimney. Put up a few banners in here as well and place down carpets. Should be enough. Now in here would be the bedroom. We'll place down the bed, a nice stand, and a storage shelf. A ladder to the attic. And we can have another waiting table in the bedroom, I figured.
Now lastly, the attic. Let's fill up the one block gap with the locks. And now up here would basically be a storage area, so you can decorate it however you like. But for me, I would go with a messy and abandoned style. And we're all done. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the build. And as always, if you are interested in getting this build, the link to my Patreon will be down in the description. And thank you again to my patrons for all your support. It really does help out a lot. Now have a nice day to you all, and I'll see you in the next one.